Now let's uh, talk a little bit about DX12. The DX12 API really consists of two parts. There's the low level API, and frankly this is the part that got the most attention by press. What this part does is it shifts the workload from the CPU to the GPU. And that's great for a card like the 980 Ti because it's so powerful, it can bear a lot more load. But the part that's not talked about enough is the new graphics effects that DX12 enables. Things like uh, very realistic, photorealistic uh, fire or, 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 or lighting, shadows, smoke. So let's, let's look at that a little more because I think that's extremely critical to the gaming experience that DX12 will deliver. <clears throat> so again, at the, at the low level is the API and built on top of the, the API are certain feature levels. Now Microsoft recently clarified that the feature levels are broken up into two parts. There's 12 underscore zero and the more advanced features are 12 underscore one. Now this GPU, the 980 Ti, is among the only GPUs on the market that supports the advanced level 12 underscore one features. In fact, the only other GPUs that support 12 underscore one are the second generation Maxwell GPUs. So that's 960 and up. Why, do, why would gamers care about that? So let's look at a couple of these features in more detail to see what experience <coughs> this, this means for gamers. Volume tile resources. Now, in the olden days, the way it used to work was like this. Uh, if the scene of a game was to change even a little bit, let's say like a, a, a bird was flying on the sky, the entire game scene would be streamed again and uh, loaded again as a texture. And the problem with that is that it's inefficient. You don't need the entire texture again. So what they did was they broke up the texture into tile textures and they only streamed those tiles that were needed by the game. Obviously this is more efficient in terms of bandwidth, time and frame buffer resources. But even that lacks the capability that you get with volume tile textures and that's a DX12 underscore one feature. And what that does is this, a game developer could assign a parameter to these tile textures. <coughs> Parameters such as heat or density or temperature. And then the game developer could say that if the temperature of a certain tile exceeds some value, let's say a thousand Celsius, then start a fire. And you get very realistic rendering of fire because that's how physics works in the real world. So let's look at an example of that. This is a real DX12 simulation of smoke and it is very photorealistic and the way it was done was that the game developer said that if the density of a certain tile texture exceeds some value then block sunlight and that's how you get this real smoke effect. Let's look at one more example. This is called conservative raster and the way it works is this. Now assume that this geometry here, the triangle, is some object in the game. And what we want to do is, we want to simulate the shadow of that object, right? And we want to do that by tracing it by rays. So this is how it used to work before DX12 underscore 1. Now consider these squares as pixels on the screen. If the majority area of a pixel was inside the object, that pixel was considered to be inside the object from a, a shadow tracing perspective. But if the, the majority part of the pixel was outside the triangle, then that was excluded from a shadow tracing perspective. And the problem with that is that it creates holes in the shadow. I'll show you an example of that in the following slide. <clears throat> but the difference with DX12 underscore 1 is that with conservative raster on, if a pixel was even touched by the geometry, that pixel was considered to be inside it from a shadow tracing perspective. So let's see what that means. This was how shadows appeared in games 
before any ray tracing simulations. You can see that it's this, this shadow is pixelated, it's low resolution, it's not a good effect, right? This is the shadow that was ray traced with conservative raster off, that's pre-DX12. And you can kind of see holes in the geometry of the shadow that corresponds to these holes here. This is the sort of shadow you're going to see with the X12 underscore 1 features. It's pixel perfect. Again, 980 Ti is among the only GPUs where you will see this.